far. With the spring ball and everything? Yeah. Uh, I think it's going great. Uh, there's a lot of guys that you know we wanted to see how they're going to do this spring, and, and they've done great so far. And I, I think we're progressing really well. Remington was just talking about how the pen, the penalties emphasis <clears throat> and the effort emphasis. Mm -hmm. What's it like? You know, if you get caught holding, you have to either you know call it out yourself or you know go yeah. get it caught on film. <laughs> What's that like? Um, it's uh, so we're yeah we are getting serious about the penalties, and I think it's smart. Um, I probably won't tell myself if I make a penalty though, but uh, <laughs> but uh, no, it's smart, and I think it's good, and and, and it, we've really stopped the penalties since since you know that rule has happened. If you get caught on film, do you have to do twice as much? That's what Rome was like saying. That, yeah. Yeah. I'll take my chances, though. <laughs> <laughs> You've been How nice is it to have this core offensive line all pretty much back? Mm. No, it's uh, it's really nice. We you know we don't have to spend too much time going over the plays. It's just a whole bunch of technique stuff. We're moving, and uh, it's great. You know, you have a lot of confidence that I could you know do this and this because I know that he's right next to me, and I know that he's right next to me. So it's it's awesome, you know, having that all those guys back and. And it's, it's a good group. As the center, you know, making the calls and knowing the guys around you understand, you know, what their responsibility is. Mm -hmm. How nice is that just in your, you know, in your position with what you're doing to have guys that, you know, understand precisely what they're yeah. supposed when to I, be doing. When everybody knows what they're doing, you know, there's a lot more things you can do. Uh, you don't have to worry too much about the small things. You can just move on and, and get going. So I know that I can, you know, say this thing like that and, oh, he's going to know. Or I can just be like, hey, Tooney, Tooney. And then Junior's about like, okay, that means I got to do this and this. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's uh, it's kind of just like building chemistry with that group because we've been together for all year. That, that chemistry is really there. How much for you personally? I, mean, I don't know if easier is the right word, but how much better <clears throat> is it that you have a year under your belt now? Um, it's uh, I I'd say it's a lot better, uh, a lot more experience. Um, I just closer with the guys. So that, you know, it's fun to play with them. I want to do better for them, and uh, you know, it's just a lot more confidence going in to all the practices, and, and then once the games come around, I'll be a lot more confident then, too. Did you impress the new strength coach with those guns? Or, uh... Uh, yeah, something like that. Um, <laughs> so he's also from Texas. or Well, he's, his last school was in Texas. So we, we kind of have that Texas relationship going already. We're, we're homeboys. Uh, last, last year, Nevada kind of commented on the strength of Travis Tui Loma. Mm -hmm. You faced him in practice. Yeah. What's he like? Uh, tra no, Travis is a beast. He is a good football player. And it's, uh, it's nice going up against him because I know if I can do, you know, at least decent against Travis, I'll be pretty good against other noses, nose guards. So uh, Travis makes me better, and, and hopefully I, I do the same for him. But it's it's uh, it's always a good matchup when I go up against Travis. Pretty strong, strong. Yeah, ball. he is strong. No, he's he's good. He's a good football player. So you need those guns to handle someone like that. Yeah, him. I do. I, I had to spend some extra hours in the offseason because oh man, I got to go up against Travis this spring. <laughs> <laughs> Coach and I said they're still looking for a little bit of depth in the O-line. What have you seen in regards mm. to that? Yeah, so there's a lot of new guys in, the, in that second group. Um, I think as we go through practice, they keep getting better and better. So they're, uh, they'll, they'll be a good group. The freshmen are going to have to come in and, and be a big help. But uh, either way, we'll, we'll get whoever is in there going, and, and they'll be a big contribution. So we we got to ask you about the brawl, so, unfortunately. <laughs> what... Uh, have you reached out to Memphis? What what has been the interaction as far as uh, um, between you and them? And uh, I don't know. I I'm not the one handling that. Does that mean you just don't want to talk about it or nothing? No, happened? I'm just not the one handling uh, the communication between Memphis. Oh, okay. <laughs> so well, Ty told us that he basically apologized to their coach. Mm -hmm. You haven't talked to their coach or anything? Uh, no, sir. Uh, do you expect to? play at the first game? Um, oh, yes, oh, I, I don't know if I should say yes or no, but uh, <laughs> hopefully we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> what what basically precipitated that whole thing? I mean, uh, the whole little the, the problem. I mean, obviously you were involved in it. <laughs> no, it was, a, it was a great game. You know, emotions are running high. But uh, I don't know. Not much more I can, I, I can say about that. As you look at the O line this year, who do you look at as the leaders on this of this particular? Group? Of the O line, uh -huh. uh, Kyle Johnson. He's a he's a guy. I think he's a three year starter. He's you know if you ask Coach Two J, he'll probably say Kyle is one of the most reliable. But uh, I think all of the rest of us have to be leaders too to get the rest of the guys going because they're all new and they're you know not used to it. So Kyle is probably the main one. Riker Matthews also. He's a he's a great leader. But the rest of us, me, Tooney, Louie, Brad Wilcox, we all have to. And be leaders also. One of the major storylines in the first week of camp was everybody was amazed at the fact that Taysom was out there doing as much as he mm -hmm. is. 
were you surprised about that at all? Um, <clears throat> not too surprised because I, I heard he was, you know, moving in off season. I heard he was lifting a lot in off season. So uh, he's, I think he's coming along really well. I'm excited to see him. He's he's looking healthy. He's looking good. When it comes to overall progression, the O line this year in comparison to last year, how would you say the O line is progressing in terms of the running and the passing game? Um, I I just think so. There's a lot of you know with that just having a year under you, you can go back and look at all of your mistakes, and that's what we're focusing on now, correcting all those mistakes and just trying to almost perfect our game. And I think you know since you know that whole group is coming back, we're we're able to do that. So every single one of us has those little things that we need to work on, and, and we're fixing it here right now in the spring. They went and recruited more offensive line from Texas. Were you involved in, in any of those? Um, I'd like to say I inspired it a little bit, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Uh, yeah, I talked to a few of those guys. Um, and some good football over there. So when they told me that they're recruiting over there, you know, I wanted to, you know, try and help them get over here a little bit. Freshman All American last year. What are your goals this year? Uh, just, just, just to be the best I can be. Have as much fun as possible. So Taysom's been asked a lot if he's going to change his game, stay in the pocket a little more. Mm -hmm. Would you prefer if he stay there instead of taking off? Um, you know what, Taysom is Taysom. Whatever he does, I, I know he's going to help us win. So whatever he needs to do, he's, he's good when he gets out of the pocket. So you know if he needs to do that, then do that. But Taysom will help us. He, I know he knows what he's doing. What are, you the, what are you the most excited about when you reflect on the season coming up? Oh, I'm just excited to play. Um, Football's so much fun to me. I'm just excited to play. You know, get out there with my our Brodies again, and uh, we got we got a cool, cool little schedule. So I'm excited for it. Jamal Williams is obviously not playing in mm -hmm. spring camp, but you've got Algernon Brown and mm -hmm. Talaiyo Ching. Talk about maybe the progression of running backs and how maybe the chemistry between the backs and you guys' yeah. blocking styles kind of coming together in spring so, camp. So um, <clears throat> Algie's still there, and Algie, he's man, Algie's a baller, and uh, Nate, he's doing his thing too. The new guys are doing their thing. Um, there's a few things here and there when it comes to pass protection. When it comes to running, we just got to open the holes and, and we know that they're going to do the rest. You know, So as long as we do our job, we, we have enough trust that the running backs will, will do their thing. When you make the calls, the offensive line, when you're the defensive out, does that also reflect back to the backs and the passing schemes? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, so depending on you know which way I want the, the protection to go, the mm -hmm. running backs have to go the opposite way. and It, it varies a little bit. Thank you.